Hello guys, this is Too Right For Me. So, after finishing the Tactics game, Fire Emblem, I wanted to buy another Tactics game, Astral Chain, just kidding, Astral Chain is a Tactics game, and I couldn't get through it. So, later, I wanted to buy Mario Plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle, which is a Tactics game, but still very different from Fire Emblem. How so? because it's mainly focused on long-ranged combat as opposed to Fire Emblem, which mostly has short-ranged. Mm -hmm. It has like this Mario aesthetic, although we will get to that later and how that has its problems. And there are more abilities. The characters have more abilities this time. They can jump, they can dash at opponents for extra attacks, they can move through pipes and do all sorts of stuff. But does that mean that the gameplay is good? Meh. Nah. We'll get to that. Okay. But first, let's get on with the story. So, well, this is a Mario game. <laughs> what would you expect? Mm -hmm. So basically the story is that there was once this super fan of Mario <clears throat> And she lived with this device, which could make Mario characters real. Okay. But she accidentally, but she accidentally ends up merging some of the Mario characters with rabbits, mm. <clears throat> and some of other the other characters with rabbits. Mm. I see. Like for example, the first enemy of the game is called a Ziggy, which is like. A rabbit mixed with like this colorful mohawk. So like uh, the, the Goomba? No. Oh. No, not at just, all. Just a rabbit with a colorful mohawk. Yes. I see. It does not work like a Goomba. Okay. And speaking of... No, wait, we'll get to that later. <laughs> not so many cheese wheels. Now, now that the story is over with because mm -hmm. it's a very short story and it's not really that interesting mm -hmm. let's get to the humor okay now the humor is the only thing that can really hold the game mm -hmm. in terms of plot since the story itself is kind of meh mm -hmm. and the humor wasn't that funny either oh dear <clears throat> It's not like any of the jokes were awful, but I didn't find a lot, the, the major lot of them funny. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Also, this game has some cringe, like for example, Rabbit Peach's recurring joke is that she takes selfies everywhere she goes. Donkey Kong li can literally wipe the mix of Donkey Kong and the rabbits can literally wipe his butt as an attack. Oh God. And, and the Phantom Rabbit battle, mm -hmm. I like the opening cutscene, but his dialogue in battle can get very obnoxious. I see. Also, there was this one funny joke with like Beepo, the main guy of this game, swearing, mm -hmm. but it was censored and I thought that was funny. Okay. But then they did it again, and it wasn't as funny. Yeah. Yeah. So... Repeating a joke. The story wasn't very interesting, mm -hmm. and the humor wasn't enough to make it interesting. I see. Now, let's move on to the animation. Okay. Or the graphics. Yes. Now, there is one huge flaw with the graphics. What is it? the rabbit's designs. I know. I mean, like, sometimes weird designs can be good, they can be funny and stuff, mm -hmm. but there's a limit between weird and just plain creepy. True. And the rabbits reach into the creepy territory. Oh, yes, they do. <clears throat> Plus, the character movements are fine, but the frame rate can sometimes drop a bit, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, 
the animation isn't that bad. Okay. The backgrounds look very nice. You have a very <clears throat> nice texture. Mm -hmm. The effects are good. <coughs> good. Mm -hmm. It's um, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now you can continue talking. And again, the characters are very expressive. They are, their movements are very vibrant and such. Nice. That is when the frame rate doesn't drop. Mm -hmm. So overall, the visuals of this game aren't like great, but they're not really bad either. Okay. Now let's move on to the gameplay mm -hmm. section. And this is something that really annoys me. For a game with the name Mario in it, it barely has any iconic enemies for Mario. Like there was a Goomba mm -hmm. in the first world, but he didn't appear as an enemy. He was just there? Yes. There are references to enemy in, enemies in the canons, but they don't appear as enemies themselves. Okay. And there are some things that aren't even referenced in the game like i didn't see any wigglers i didn't find any koopalings in sight mm -hmm. just nothing but that's besides the actual gameplay okay the actual gameplay is not very good either because the game is split into like two kind of two parts. First is are the fights, mm -hmm. which can be fun. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but sometimes there are like these huge difficulty spikes, mm -hmm. like in the middle of the Fight. game, and okay. it's not fun. Plus, the enemies can easily outnumber you, which is also not very fun. I mean, there are more options for the character to do in this game than the last strategy game that I played, mm -hmm. but still, yeah. when you have a bunch of enemies shooting you, it's annoying. It is. Then there are the puzzles, which A, don't fit in a Mario game, they fit more in a Zelda game. Mm -hmm. I want to buy Link's Awakening, but it didn't work in the end. Yeah. And B can be super annoying. Annoying is in hard or annoying is in just annoying? Both. I see. Like, I can't even remember any of them because they were so complicated and such. So, what advantage the gameplay? has over Fire Emblem is that after you beat the final boss of the game, it doesn't remove your data. Mm -hmm. You can go back to the file. It's good. Do some more and do some more stuff. So like side that's quests. good. But yeah, I didn't like the gameplay. I didn't really like this game. Yep. I think I'll post a better, more well edited review of the game. In the future when I eventually learn how to edit, maybe get a better microphone and such. Mm -hmm. And man, I really want to do that. Okay. Just give my YouTube career a total rebrand. Okay. Change it entirely. Instead of having like three separate channels, I plan on putting it all in one big channel and changing up my channel's icon and my style and all that. I just really want to do that. I think it's about time. It's been a few years. Since Either way, this game is not good. Three out of ten. Okay. Le Let's just pray I'll be able to finish Paper Mario with the Origami King. Also, the Arms DLC is coming soon. It is! Yay! Yay! Either way, I'll see you guys when I get a rebrand. Bye! Bye!